You know what the crazy thing about the RTX 50 series is? We got this really awesome epic news that the 5080 is only going to be a thousand dollars and then the 5090 is going to be two thousand dollars which I'm going to go ahead and say it right now you can hate me and argue with me as much as you want that is cheap for what we're going to be getting with an RTX 5090 okay fully aware it's expensive but then all of a sudden we got the macho chips with their boss boom enable I'm gonna go have my potato chips and an extra large pizza dipped in milkshake with a bottle of vodka and other food con th combobulations mixed together so I can gain 5 million pounds and sit on my couch as I sell my 5090s for 10 times MSRP because I am just so awesome to be able to set this bot up and completely bend everybody over that actually wants to get a graphic card. If you guys missed yesterday's video, 5080s are being sold out and ready for it? You need to take a big deep breath for this one because it's going to hurt your feelings. 1900 buckaroos, 5080. Woo! Guess what? So we went from 5080 being $999 to the literal price of a 5090. What do you think the 5090 is going to go for? Just take a really random guess. Leave it down in the comment section below. Only one rule that you have with the guess of the 5090 price is you can't edit your comment or delete it. What? Four grand. Yeah, you knew it. I knew it. Everybody else on the planet knew it. I just hope from the bottom of my heart, anybody that even attempts to scalp these, I genuinely hope from the bottom of my heart that you get stuck with them. I hope that you lose your house. I hope that you lose your car. I hope that you go bankrupt. And I hope that you starve to death and need to pick food out of dumpsters and trash cans for the next however many years you exist on the planet. I genuinely hope that this happens to you. Okay, bud. All right, so even with the, <laughs> even with the next NVIDIA mobile GPUs on the way, I'm still remarkably tempted by the RTX 4070 touting this right here, the Asus Rogue Zephyrus G16 for $1,100 with an epic affiliate link. You already know. I'm just joking, by the way. This is an actually this actually is a really good deal for a laptop if you actually still play games at 1080p for some reason in 2025. So I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's definitely a laptop that is on sale for eleven hundred dollars. I will not be including my affiliate link because if I include my affiliate link, I would feel like an absolute turd bucket making you buy something when new laptops are on the way to the market within roughly two months right aren't they releasing in march it is literally january 21st and you and i both know we're not getting one on launch day so i'm guessing like end of march is probably when the new ones are going to come out that are going to be like not only five times faster but last like seven times as long that's what she said and uh yeah I also want to share some, so I uploaded this to the gaming channel, I was talking about this stuff, but I don't know how many of you have seen the news regarding the PS6. Uh, it's supposed to have the a, a new 3D chip. Am I really like, where's the friggin' article? Here it is. Yeah, okay, so the PS6 reportedly set to use AMD's 3D stacked chips. New UDNA GPUs also set for next generation consoles. Dude, I stopped supporting Sony a long time ago, which I'm actually really happy that Sony started sucking and being a turd bucket company because that's literally when I started doing all the PC stuff. And man, have I been set free ever since I started doing that. But the reason that I'm excited for this is, okay, I haven't repeated myself because I, I literally just made the video on this. I'm, so I'm trying to think to myself, did I already say this? But I didn't. So the reason I'm excited for this dude is because for those, I know you're aware of this, all right? So there's there's these generations that we go from, like, let's say the 14900K to the, the 98, or let's actually just use AMD since it's literally the same company. So we go from the 7800X 3D, that's getting 200 FPS. And then we go to the 9800X 3D, that is, we all settings the same, game same, GPU same, everything's the same. We go from 200 FPS to like 400 FPS. So we got like a 200% increase in performance, I think, if that if I did the math right. Pretty sure I did the math incorrectly, but could could have done the math properly. Might be making a mistake. But just that, 
just the fact that the actual console is going to have that 3D chip just sounds so interesting to me. And I'm actually really excited to see like what the console is going to be capable of. And the reason that I'm excited for this is before anybody loses their crap with what I'm about to say, this is a fact, okay? I'm excited for this to see what the console is actually going to be capable of in 4K. Because the PS5, again, not trying to take a dump on the PS5 if you're just super loving of the ps5 okay but when you have a high-end computer and you max out a game at 4k and you play this game at 4k on your pc and let's say i have a ps5 and i'm just like and i need an extra hit of dopamine and i have the exact same game and pissed away 70 dollars on the exact same game actually hold on let me take that back $90 because I also need to pay for an online membership in order to access this video game in the first place, which I don't even own. Okay. <laughs> Hence why I don't really like to support Sony anymore. So PC, PS5, same exact game, same resolution, just paid a little bit more for something I'll never own which is the same thing going on with Steam right now, I guess. And this is an opportunity for GOG, for those of you that are unaware. Look it up, Google it. I'll explain it to you in a moment here, but I don't want to get off topic and forget what I want to say. So PS5, PC, looks totally different. Way different. Doesn't even look remotely the same as the same game. And I get this comment all the time where, like, like or when I was doing, like, gameplays and stuff, I'd get the comment all the time what game is this that looks so much different from my game what is this it's destiny what is it? Oh, what it doesn't look like that on my console but the reason i'm saying this dude is because the textures the shaders the ray tracing like everything looks different because the ps5 uses the bottom of the barrel low settings in order to achieve the 4k whereas pc it's like you have the ability to go into the console or the game settings and like up to not potato quality 4k okay so and i'm not saying that the ps5 looks bad all right they did a they did a really good job but there's no denying that and not only that dude the field of view is just it's like i want to say probably like 25 percent less on a console so it's like you you're you're on pc and your character looks normal it's like a normal it's like oh hey this is really appealing to look at like my guy is like right there and i can see my guy and i'm running around the map and i can look at everything on the map and it's just really awesome and awesome and just super awesome and wicked awesome it's just super awesome and then you come over here and you got you, you like you got you got your 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 PS5 and like this is what the PS5 is. All right, you ready for this? Okay, hold up, hold up. All right, there we go. So now I'm I'm playing my PS5 now. We're this is the PS5 version. You see me right now? This is PS5. This is PS5 right now. We're just PS5 in our lives away right now. We're just like really enjoying looking at nothing but our character taking up 90% of the screen. Then we're coming back to PC. Yep, PC. Here we here we are. PC. There, now our PC where it's normal and we can actually see something on our fucking screen other than the back of our character. So yeah, dude. And I know it's, it's depending. Yeah, dude. So you guys know I'm right about this. So I am excited because of the 3D chip. I wouldn't be talking about this if I wasn't excited for it because I want to see what the difference is going to be from the PS5 to the PS6. Because I don't care what anybody says, dude. The PS4 Pro's like 4K upscaling pretty much looks like a PS5 to me. I can't really tell a difference because they're using that those same like settings in order to achieve that resolution, man. And it's just like I don't know, man. I don't think anybody would actually argue with me on that. I'm not trying to say that the PS6 is not fun. For fuck, dude. I play my Nintendo Switch more than anything. It's a freaking potato console, all right? But, like, you can't it's, you can't argue with me. Or that I, I actually play my PC more than anything, but I play, I use Launchbox, and I, I emulate Super Nintendo games. Uh, but, yeah, dude, let me know what you guys think about all this stuff down in the comment section below. It's just wild. It's just wild how people actually just, just, like, make their lives, like, just completely suck. I don't know, man. I just, I 